projects in this video we are going to explain about a project titled universal approximation capability of broad learning system and its structural variations so now coming to the introduction part through empirical evaluations and performance comparisons with traditional deep learning architectures this study seeks to showcase the process of the broad learning system and its adaptability across diverse domains the pursuit of universal approximation capability transcends conventional limitations offering a glimpse into the potential of more efficient and effective machine learning paradigms this research dives into the intriguing landscape of the broad learning system and its structural variations aiming to dissect the factors that contribute to its universal approximation capability so now coming to the objective part for this project is that ultimately this research contributes to advancing the knowledge base surrounding machine learning architectures and their potential for universal approximation by uncovering the underlying principles of pls approximation capabilities and shedding light on its structural adaptability the study stands to foster innovation in machine learning design driving the development of more effective and efficient system for tackling complex real world challenges so this study aims to determine the configurations that push the boundaries of pls approximation capabilities providing insights into the system's potential to tackle complex for the real world problems so now coming to the requirements part we have two types of requirements as a hardware requirement and software requirement in hardware requirements operating system as windows is required processor i5 and above minimum 4 gb of ram is required hard disk 20 gb and above coming to the software requirement part Python IDE L that is 3.7 version is required. So now coming to the methodology part, first upload data set. This step involves providing the data set that will be used for training and evaluating the machine learning algorithms. The data set may consist of labeled examples with features and corresponding target labels which the algorithms will use to learn patterns and make predictions. Second read data set and generate train test model. Once the data set is uploaded it needs to be read and processed. This step involves splitting the data set into training and testing subsets. The training subset is used to teach the algorithms the patterns within the data, while the testing subset serves as an independent evaluation to assess the algorithm's performance on unseen data. Third, run SVM algorithm. Here, SVM stands for Support Vector Machine, which is a powerful machine learning algorithm used for classification and regression tasks. Fourth, run ELM algorithm. Here ELM stands for extreme learning machines which is a machine learning algorithm known for its efficiency in training in neural networks. It focuses on random randomly initializing the hidden layer of a neural network and then solving for the output weights analytically. Fifth run BLS algorithm. Here BLS stands for broad learning system which is a unique architecture for machine learning that involves a two layer structure and input layer for feature extraction and a broad layer for combining and processing features. Six accuracy graph After running the SVM, ELM, and BLS algorithms and obtaining their respective predictive models, an accuracy graph is generated. This graph illustrates the accuracy of each algorithm's predictions on the testing data. Seventh exit. The exit step signifies the conclusion of the entire process. At this point, the research or analysis has achieved its objectives of training and evaluating machine learning algorithms using the provided data set. So now coming to the execution part to execute the project first we need to open the code folder So here we have a folder named as pycatch and this we are containing a python file which is containing the python script in it Another folder named as dataset in this we are containing dataset over here and here bls and main these two are the python files which are containing the python script in it and here this is the main python file And here, this is the run dot bat file. Instead of executing the program in command line interface, we created Windows bat file to execute the project. For running this project, we have double clicked on the run dot bat file. So now here, this is the graphical user interface. With this, we are interacting with the program. So now, click on upload data set button to upload the data set over here. And here, I am selecting this dot csv file over here. And now, click on open button to load the data set. So here on this screen, you can see that have a long data set, total nine features and attributes found over here. And now click on read data set and generate train test model button to read data set and to divide data set into train and test model for accuracy calculation. So here we can see data set total four thousand one hundred seventy seven records found, and two thousand eighty eight are used for training and two thousand eighty nine are used for testing. 
and now click on run svm algorithm button to calculate accuracy of data set using svm so here you can see svm got 25% accuracy and now click on run elm algorithm button to run the elm algorithm so now here you can see elm got 23% accuracy 24% accuracy and now click on run vls algorithm button to get its accuracy So now click on accuracy graph button to get the algorithms for all algorithms graph over here. So now by clicking on the exit button we can exit with this application. And now coming back to the conclusion part. In essence, the investigation into the universal approximation capability of the broad learning system and its structural variation serves as a testament to, to the evolving nature of machine learning architecture. By unraveling the intricacies of VLS and shedding light on its capacity to approximate diverse functions, this research contributes not only to the advancement of learning systems but also to the broader quest of understanding the complexities of information representation and processing in the digital age. Moreover, the exploration of structural variations within the BLS framework has provided a valuable perspective on enhancing its approximation process. Prowess, the systematic investigation into additional hidden layers, activation functions, and dimensionality adjustments are unveiled the fine balance between model complexity and performance improvement. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.